good morning. It started off at 6 o'clock this morning. It is now 7 a.m. and we are heading into one of our training facilities in Enniskillen, County for Manor to deliver driver CPC training. So I have one of my trainers down, so I'm gonna to have to go out and deliver this myself. Yeah, so because of the COVID measures, our whole catering activity now has been quashed, so we'll have to jump in here, get some lunch, um, get a few sweets for the guys, and yeah, so here we go. Okay folks, good morning. We are down here in Enniskillen, getting ready to deliver driver CPC training. So let's get at it. So we're just in here to the training facility itself and as you can see here we have <clears throat> the social distancing measures all conformed with, complied with. So we're going to get set up here. We have one of our support team coming down who will be at the first front reception. They'll be taking temperature, they'll be recording the temperatures, they'll be going through the documentation. Everything apart from rolling forms are paperless and this is because of DUPE, the Joint Approval Unit for Periodic Training, who want to go old school, which is violating a lot of us. So we'll go digital, we'll deal with that afterwards because we have to ensure um, stringent control measures. So we take this here room, guys, and as I say, we at the moment it's we're delivering driver CPC training to uh, greater and winter service drivers so essential essential services we need to get these guys up to date we need to get them legal to be out on the road to grit the roads and um, you know plough and all that throughout the whole of Northern Ireland so here is one of the stages and this is where I will do my uh, comedy show from up here, so this is where all my stupid jokes will come out of. I'll probably just walk up and down here at this stage instead. <laughs> and that's um, that's our audience. Anyway, guys, we'll try and vlog as we go along. Bit of a problem at the moment because um, obviously with multiple businesses, absolutely flat out, very, very hard. Um, you know, as a company owner and director and, and founder to deal with all of our business and all of our divisions. We are training her down at the moment, so I've had to jump on board and get this done. That brings me to an important point. People always ask me, you know, how come you do everything? How come you're involved in everything? How come you can do everything? From a business point of view, should you not have people in doing this for you? Now, absolutely, and we do, and we have a damn good team. But when the shit hits the fan, like today with the trainer down you need to be fit to buy and go in cover that and make sure it's all done make sure it's delivered make sure the service is delivered such as our tenders and our contracts to make sure our customers are um, served stephen how come you've got me starting an hour earlier right guys so first of all adam dry your eyes second of all we're down here in the skill uh, delivering driver cpc training as we said earlier on in the vlog this here's one of our training rooms and um, we have the stage nothing, so some of the nothing. jokes going to tell the day okay for the guys because they do think i'm extremely funny is um, I'll tell the one about the, the guy with the wooden eye. So he's a wooden eye. Listen to this, Adam. <laughs> and he goes into this nightclub and um, and we sees this girl across the bar and he says, Oh, I'll definitely, I definitely like her. So he has to get a couple of drinks in him for Dutch courage. Drinks all the drinks he can. Two or three hours later, he walks over there, nice and confident. And he says, uh, Excuse me, would you like to dance? And she says, Ah, oh, why wouldn't I? And he says, Sit we are, buck teeth. Okay, folks, so it is now break time. First break of the day for these guys in doing the driver CPC training. The, the course today is about accident and collision causation factors. So, as this vlog is all about, you know, our, our services and our business and our training and running businesses and managing businesses and starting businesses. So, they're out for a break. I'm after taking my sixth call, phoning people back, uh, dealing with issues, dealing with problems. Um, dealing with new work coming in from our work in actually dealing with two issues at the moment one in Telford and one in Aberdeen for guys that we have out on site so we have all this to do as well plus you know present and deliver the training in as, as much motivational as we can to get the boys on board here because driver CPC is extremely boring however we do cover very very serious stuff the next stage of this training now here um, on session two will cover all about fatal accidents the investigation chain and the procedures <laughs> Oh, 
Okay guys, <clears throat> so it's just break time here for all the lads. We're just gonna take a bit of a break ourselves. Now, chopped. So, as I say guys, I'm on the phone here. I have about five minutes, eat something quick, get all the guys back in again, and um, continue the course. I think it's half past one here at the moment, so we need to get the guys back in and finish the seven hours periodic training. So, great bunch of guys today. A bit of crack. Again, I'm just looking at my phone of 117 missed calls from the 10 o'clock break to the one o'clock break, and of about just over 40 emails in. So you have to deal with them as you go along with everything else. Oh, hey folks. Not sure if you can see me, but Anyway guys, we're about to conduct an unannounced health and safety inspection visit. We have three operating this evening in three different locations. Two are for the one company and then another one is for a separate company. <coughs> so yes, we're going to land in, do what we do, um, go through the whole uh, inspection from the start to the finish. It's transport and logistics company is for two of them and then a warehouse and manufacturing company for their middle and night shift. So we'll go in, ensure everything's in place, do an inspection, address any issues, categorize the, the, the safety critical aspects of everything, um, take action as and when necessary, uh, work with the guys, deal with the people, and then you know do an electronic report as we go along and then submit the report at the end of the shift. And so anyway, that's where at the moment, guys. I'm gonna uplift um, one of the guys is gonna accompany me and we will come back to you. So yes sir. What we're up to at the moment, it is half past nine at night and we are about to conduct three separate unannounced health and safety inspections, health and safety visits. So what we do guys is we land in unannounced and we start at one end, two guys go in, start at one end, the other starts another end with, <coughs> excuse me, with COVID measures. Obviously we have, we'll be in all masked up and uh, you know separated from everybody. But the most important bit of this guys is that it's unannounced. We arrive in, we go through the whole health and safety procedures, policies, we go and do the live examination, the live inspection of people from shunting to uh, dropping trailers, hooking trailers, forklift drivers, the manual handling, the fire risk assessments, everything that they're doing and we will uh, analyse them and assess them over a period of time, probably four or five hours. So what we will do is we will cross shift from a middle shift to a night shift, make sure everybody's up to date, make sure PPE and all, everything is 100%, including the COVID measures. So. The beauty with this guys is these three visits are happening at the exact same time in three completely different locations in between Northern Ireland and GB. So, you know, it's a great way of doing it. And what I want to pop up in this particular clip is to highlight the mass competence and the, the expertise and professionalism of companies, health and safety guys and transport, you know, for getting this done because this is one of the main control measures we have as leading investigators. This is what we're up against all the time when we're called in to investigate and then now we're putting in mitigation and control measures. So happy days. And again, we will enforce as we go along. We will step in and take action where necessary um, on behalf of the company. But more importantly, we'll educate. I will educate the guys what they're doing wrong, get them to change their ways if there's any issues, protect them. When you have guys on a night shift, uh, middle shift and night shift, and trust me, I work night shift for a long time, it's a very dangerous position to be in. Because even if you're not working machinery, in this case it's transport and logistics and warehousing, if you're not in that situation, well then, you know, fatigue sets in, the tiredness sets in, and you're just not, you know, doing the things right. So anyway guys, we need to get going, and um, we'll check you in the next clip. Okay folks, so we have myself and Adam here this evening and um, as I said earlier there, we're gonna now go in and do a non-announced uh, health and safety inspection. So nobody knows we're coming, we're just gonna land in. We're gonna go through the whole health and safety procedures, uh, inspecting all the guys that they're doing everything right from the shunting to the forklifts, to the PPE, to the emergency exits, to the fire systems, fire alarm systems, um, parking areas, the whole thing. So. It's going to be a late one, um, it's a half nine start at night, we'll go on for a couple of hours to try and catch the middle shift and the night shift. It's uh, 3.30 in the morning and me and Adam are just finishing up here on Health and Safety Unannounced Visit. We have Adam over here getting some of the paperwork all sorted. All done, yeah? Yep. Okay. 
Okay folks, good morning. We are just pulled in here to one of our clients early on a Saturday morning and we're gonna deliver, first of all, our compliance services, which is an unannounced um, checkpoint in the yard for trailers and tractor units. And also then we will do an unannounced um, inspection, health and safety inspection on the warehouse and logistics end. Now we always find something, there's always issues, especially at weekend with weekend workers. And um, then after that, actually in the middle of that, I'm popping over to deliver training in daily walk around check and defect reporting. Now the train that we deliver, as many people know, it's extremely sought after because of the way we do it. But as I say, it's quarter to seven here now, and I will go out and now start putting defects on the vehicle, and then we will go into the classroom, do the classroom session. The guys will go out, do a daily walk around check, and um, see if they can de detect the defects that I have fitted, and then, we will go back into the classroom, finish off the bits, and they will all come out together and do a daily walk around check. Same training as delivered to vehicle and traffic examiners with transport enforcement and roads policing. And it's really to give the guys an understanding that if you have a, we'll say just a, just a traffic officer, their capability is only to do like a daily walk around check. Um, and that's what drivers need to be up to scratch with. So it's a different for a VE, a vehicle examiner, because they will be in underneath the vehicle checking for more, um, you know, in-depth components. So anyway, guys, that is it. Okay, folks, good morning. It is Saturday morning. We've been up since 4 a.m. We're now out in sight. We have two trainers out in sight today, delivering training in daily walk around checks, defect reporting, and health and safety, operational awareness, as well as load security and load distribution. So we're just gonna pop in here. We might have a few forklift jobs as well, but just gonna enter the key box to grab a set of keys, Mercedes. Nope. Volvo. Come on. Or MAN, should we say? Where's the Volvo key? So we're gonna, we're gonna do a couple of these vehicles. Now the point of this training guys, as a lot of you know, is that we will come out here now and we'll put defects on the vehicles themselves. So with load security, the vehicle itself, and we'll go underneath, we'll put in defects, which is defects that are detected at the road every day. Now in my 12 years in transport enforcement, law enforcement, is the same thing guys. What we've seen every day on the road, and therefore how a driver should conduct a daily walk around check and how should they should defect report it. And a big thing about the train today, guys, is management are involved, so they know now that what the driver is trained to look at, what the driver is trained to do, and how we implement all these systems. So okay guys, so we're in out of vehicles every day of the week here. On this particular vehicle, we're going to set up a number of defects. We're going to pull it out into the designated area, which will be coned off for safety. We have one of our other trainers up in the classroom doing the classroom session. And I've got the short straw <laughs> outlining under the vehicles to set up the defects on it. So anyway, what's the whole point of this? You know, what's the point of doing this? And as I said, and I say this on our social media all the time, what is admissible in court? Where is your relevant, specific training? Because death by PowerPoint with possibly sometimes incompetent and inexperienced um, trainers as well. The, not that the message doesn't get across, not that the teaching skill doesn't get across. The fact is that when it's a generic training course, even in relation to your driver's handbook, your policies and procedures, who do you defect off to? How long does it do? How long does it take to do a daily walk around check? And so on and so forth. So we're gonna start this wee lady up and um, get going. beat the sun up but have to pop into a new client here and download his tech graph download his vehicle unit take a look at his data he's got himself into a bit of bother and um what i think has happened is he has a driver who is using someone else's card and the mileage just isn't adding up at the moment for him so that's what i'm thinking is at the moment i haven't downloaded the new driver's card and anyway he isn't he is not a new driver you know so anyway guys we have Obviously, 
Our vehicles always um, kitted up with stuff, whether it's our accident work, um, collision investigation, rapid response, whatever you have to go out to. It could be training, could be vehicle examination, whatever it is. So today we are up here doing training. Um, yes, yeah, so with, with our defect boxes, uh, with all our all our equipment and all our material. Yeah, as I say, guys, get up before the sun because that's where you should start the day. Anyway, we'll see you in the next clip. folks we're back into the next clip we missed the last clip that we were going to put in here but um things are going to be a bit crazy as usual so now i've had to go out and um sort a couple of issues out within a road transport division so guys i'm going to end the vlog here I'm going to get up into bed have lovely uh, wonderful sleep because i find it a lot easier sleeping with a trailer hooked up to a tractor unit for some reason rather than an ordinary bed but night heater is on and uh, we're going to get up into the top bunk and we're going to get some sleep and then I think we have two higher vehicles to put out tomorrow and a higher trailer but I have to meet a new client um, for our training and for our transportation and logistic academy so a lot of tra training for new drivers coming on board um, transport managers <clears throat> and uh, a lot of the health and safety staff as well so as usual guys, thank you so much for watching the vlog. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, put on the legal little bell and it'll notify you of any videos coming up. I'm extremely tired now at the moment, so I'm gonna say thank you very much, good night, and that is all.